Now, I love watching shows that capture medieval life and warfare, but for all of you that think living back in that time would be cool, like I did, get ready for me to ruin your day. Also, this is a special video to celebrate the new year. I know I'm a little late, but please don't judge me. We will be traveling a thousand years back in time to the five most interesting and powerful countries during that time, and covering the pros and cons of living in each empire. First up, we have the Byzantine Empire. The pros of living here was its flourishing culture, where many of the citizens were able to enjoy the cultural richness of Constantinople. With its art, architecture, and intellectual pursuits, it was also a trade hub. The nation benefited from Constantinople's strategic location as a major trade hub, connecting Europe and Asia, and it had many educational opportunities in contrast to other countries, having access to educational institutions and libraries that were sent centers of learning during this period. As for the cons, there was a lot of political intrigue, where many experienced political instability and court debacles that were common in the Byzantine Empire. There was also religious tensions and controversies, including the Great Schism between the Eastern and Western Christian churches. Next up, we have the Islamic Caliphate. It was considered the Golden Age of Islam, where they thrived in a period of scientific, artistic, and philosophical advancements. There was also an impressive amount of cultural diversity that the citizens were able to indulge and experience. They also had prosperity with trade, benefiting from flourishing trade routes and economic prosperity in cities like Baghdad and Cordoba. But with the rise of every empire, there is a fall, because it was around this time that there was a political fragmentation of the caliphate into various dynasties, leading to political disunion. And they also faced external threats from Mongolian invasions and crusades, impacting stability. Now we got the Chinese with the Song Dynasty. And of course, the Chinese had all the technological advancements, including inventions like gunpowder and printing. They also had economic growth and urbanization with thriving markets and trade, and experienced their own cultural renaissance with flourishing poetry, painting, and ceramics. But like with many dynasties in China, they had political turmoil, instability, and invasions from neighboring powers. And on top of that, they had social inequality, navigating a society with rigid social hierarchies and and limited opportunities for social mobility. Now, we have the Khmer Empire, which had many architectural marvels and their citizens lived in the midst of impressive architectural achievements, including the Angkor Wat complex, and experienced a period of cultural and artistic flourishment in the Khmer Empire. Not only that, they benefited from the empire's regional influence and trade connections. But they did face environmental challenges, including changes in water management and ecological factors impacting the empire. And with great power comes great responsibility, because they had to deal with external threats and conflicts with neighboring powers. Lastly, we have one of my personal favorites, the Viking Age of Scandinavia. They lived in a time of exploration and adventure, engaging in seafaring expeditions, exploration, and adventurous activities, and they contributed to the cultural exchange and influence of Norse traditions across Europe. But let's not pretend like we don't know the life that most of these Vikings had to endure, filled with violence, raiding, and political instability, and on top of that, they had to endure harsh living conditions, especially during the colder seasons, with limited resources at that. Now I'm sure most of you guys were able to recognize the similarities of these nations' good and bad aspects, but for the most part living a thousand years ago was pretty... So quit pretending to be a samurai or knight and get a real job. And I will see you in another video.